this is Arthur Nix. I'm with EWKS. I'm an HCSS heavy bid contract trainer. And this is the first video that I will uh, put out for 2022. So what I want to start off the year with is a quick kind of how-to tutorial. And the, the, uh, what I want to show today is how you can get quickly out to Excel heavy bid cost information and other than what's maybe in reports or in the exchange. And I've been asked a lot about this, you know, uh, you know, how can I do this? And it's not like intuitively clear until you see it. So this is what I'm going to cover today. One place that's pretty obvious in heavy bid is the exchange export to Excel. But the issue here is when I come here to bid items, uh, you know, exporting that out, you can see I can, but there's just so much detail right here. Uh, and it's a little tedious trying to get that, you know, to look right. And you really don't know if it looks right until you send it out to Excel if you got everything. Uh, also, you can come up here to more bid item cost and price right here. Very similar here. And this is another option to get things out to Excel. But what I want to show today is in the query. You come to bid item, uh, query, and then come over here to bid item. Okay, and this is the default query screen right here. But I can always come over here to customize. Customize again, that's how I get the options. And now I can click on anything here. And so let's say I only want to send out labor information, cost. Now I can't do price. Query is strictly uh, confined to cost, but I just want to get some, uh, I want to get my total labor. I want to get the, uh, also the burden unit cost and total labor unit cost. Uh, and I mean, base and labor, and then I have burden and then I have total labor. Uh, let's see what else. I don't want equipment. I do want man hours. And this is at the bid item level. And what's nice about the customize is you can slide any of these things around. So let's say I want the total labor to be right there. There you go. Now, oh, and I don't really need the type here. So, but I do have the description and there you go. And it's just now a right click send to Excel and it puts it out and there you go. Nice, neat little export out to Excel. I knew exactly what I was going to get beforehand because I could see it on the query screen. Let's do another example. Now let's take this. I'm in the bid item inquiry and let's come on down here to the activity over here on the bottom, right? I can get to the activity inquiry and I'm going to click that. Now, normally it's going to come in looking like this right here. This is the standard inquiry screen right here for at the activity levels. Notice here, I got the activities in the estimate. I could right click and send to Excel. Now you notice also that my filters, I do have filters so that they're only with crews right now, but of course I can uncheck that and I can see everything, all the activities. And just a minute, I got one. I'm going to just reset everything I had all, I had just specific crews and now I have all the crews, all the activities in the estimate. Now let's go ahead and I can come to customize and then I can customize how I want this to go out, but maybe I want to set up a template this time so that it is, you know, I could use this from estimate to estimate and I can save it for the entire um, estimating team so they can use it also. And that's covered under report templates. So it's just a tab over. And you can see here, I have two of them already set up. This is what it would look like. I had the utility production report, the shifts calculation, 
Uh, I can also just come over here to and create a new template. I'm going to do that. And I can come in and customize all this that, you know, that I want to set up. Uh, maybe I want to go ahead and have this information, but this time I want to have my total labor unit cost, my permanent material and construction material unit cost, equipment and subs, and I'm going to get my miscellaneous and total unit cost. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and before I save this template, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my, I'm going to do it with crew. Actually, I'm going to do it, uh, go ahead and just capture anything with labor. All right, so it caught a few more things there. And I'm going to save this template, save as a new template. And I'm going to call this... Uh, uh, unit cost report and for labor items. There we go. And if I want to save it for the company wide, I will have to have the system wide password. So just kind of be warned about that if you want to save it for everybody. If you want to save it for yourself, you don't need a password. All right, so I save that. And now I will be able to see that. There it is right there. And every estimate, I'll have that available. I can sit here, right click and send to Excel. And I have a quick Excel export. So there it is. So just wanted to show you today some very, in a very easy, intuitive way that HeavyBid has for sending things or sending cost information or, or production information, really anything out to Excel. Again, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you also uh, check out my other YouTube videos and my blog, which I cover a lot of subjects.